So these are the, like the types of data scientists that I, I was talking about. Different, depending on which component you are expertise in, uh, the type of role that you may get may be quite uh, slightly different. Okay. Uh, Shashank says for data visualization, which tools do you think one can get exposure to? Uh, there are multiple of them, like R itself has a lot of uh, plotting and uh, charting capabilities and there are newer things like Tableau which can do uh, uh, better visualizations than R. Uh, exactly, like Aruna says uh, Tableau is uh, used uh, uh, very popularly nowadays. Okay, Niranjan uh, says predictive analysis versus machine learning. I think it is overlapping. Where is the difference? Can you please explain? Um, uh, very good question. Uh, as you said, uh, predictive analysis and machine learning are overlapping. And I would even say uh, they are subset uh, essentially. So predictive analysis is just a one branch of uh, machine learning technique okay and there are other classes of machine learning techniques around let's say clustering and other things uh, which are which do not form predictive modeling okay so predictive modeling or predictive analysis is a subset of machine learning techniques yes and aruna uh, puts it in a uh, another uh, way which is absolutely right is uh, machine learning helps to do uh, predictive analytics. Okay, uh, this is again uh, different roles and the uh, focus of uh, those roles. Okay, like if I'm a data researcher for example the focus of uh, uh, my work would be primarily on doing machine learning and uh, statistics and uh, necessary math behind it. Whereas if I am a business person, uh, if I am a data business person, I would be spending more time on the business aspects of it, which is probably dealing with a lot of domain expertise. 